Oh, like opened my mind just to that because I've already been like because we had met uh, almost about two years ago now yeah. and so I was part of like the, the beginning stage of you switching over to Bellator and all that stuff and, yeah. and seeing you guys and, and you with TJ and with Cub and yeah. like it was a whole different le level of like men yeah like, it was just like fun like it's a whole different thing like all like the camaraderie that you guys have is, yeah. is, is awesome, you yeah. know. But also, too, it's just like the fucking work that nobody realizes what you guys do. Yeah. And how how much and like you guys put into it. I was fucking blown away, and, yeah. and especially when I followed you too at that one military fight when it was like, okay, we're gonna go. You're gonna wake up in the morning. You're gonna do this at eight o'clock, and you're gonna rest, and then you got eleven o'clock, and then you're gonna come fucking back at eight yeah. o'clock at night, and then you're gonna do a roll at night, and then yeah. get in the sauna. It was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I was like, you're never tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, your body starts, so your body's like an adaptogen, it'll adapt to anything you put it through, right? So, when you're in a, when you put it in that high stress, it, it has to react, Other, otherwise it's fight or flight, and that's how you know you're able to, to do this shit, otherwise, you just gotta go get a job, you're like, fuck that, I'm gonna go get a job and fucking work for someone else, but when you're the company and the captain of your own ship, then you're like, okay, let me map this shit out. Let me know what the end goal, and then how to how, how to accomplish these little goals to get to that end goal. You know, right. so yeah. it takes a team for sure. So if you try to do it on your own, you're gonna fail. The, yeah. the it's ship's gonna sink. It's exhausting. Like, you're like just seeing you have to go through that and, and everything. It was just like, oh my god. And that's like that was one fucking day. Yeah. Like, that was one day, and you're like, oh, I'll lose 14 pounds right now. And it's like a fucking day. I was like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? Like, just so much like conditioning and everything else. And like you said, like. You're a well, like, oiled and just ready for a fucking warfare and just a machine to be able to put all that stuff out. It's fucking awesome. Man. Yeah, that's just kind of cool, too. I kind of, uh, for these next couple of fights, I'm probably going to try to record and do a documentary of what an actual professional weight cut looks like, you know, because we have the story of people, like, the dramatic, the people not making weight, the people, like, Going to the extreme and not looking like a professional, and then making it c cinematic and very like, oh, I feel so sorry for this guy. But really, that's like five percent of the people that don't know what the hell that are not professionals, right. you know? Right. And then when you have a professional weight cut, people are able to see that. Like that's what people need to see because they need to see the, the like you said, the scheduling. The this is a profession. This is like this is more than a nine to five this is a wake up the sun up the right. sun down type watch your sodium don't eat fucking popcorn like yeah. all those extra things and I, I like and i i lost 14 pounds in a week yeah yeah that's a fucking lot and like, then plus all the water you drink like yeah. each gallon's a pound right so you drink two no, so each gallon is or eight, eight pounds i'm yeah. sorry yeah each gallon is eight pounds that's what i meant and then uh and then so you started off at two and a half two a gallon and a quarter a gallon and a half and then a gallon and then a quarter gallon so you add all that up you know that's a that's a no i was like when you told me two gallons i was like okay cool and then i i did like how much is it actually i went through 16 pounds 16 and a half pounds or more yeah of fucking water. yeah yeah. It was crazy, and yeah. I never really weighed like that much. Yeah. Like, I, and I remember it's like I would go in. You're like, you gotta get on the fucking bike. I was like, <laughs> yeah. So I had to go ride for an hour, and then I got fucked because I wore that sauna suit. Yeah. yeah. And it was cold outside. Oh shit. And I didn't sweat yeah. at all. I yeah. rode around for a fucking hour, and I lost like. 0.2 pounds. Yeah. I was so pissed. Yeah. Just out loud, I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah. So I had to go in. I jumped in the sauna and yeah. all that stuff. Like it was crazy. But there's an amazing amount of fucking water that you have to drink in and pound in the house. Like it, it, it was cool. But it, it's definitely one of those things that like you see these guys like super like almost atrophying when they're going into weigh in because they're not doing it the right way, or they like fuck up. Yeah. You know, and they like didn't take it super seriously. Yeah. You know, because like even at me, I was able to get down to 14 pounds, and I'm nowhere near like professional level of like my body even going like, oh, it's time to get up. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, and we were able to get down, and what, and I didn't never felt bad. Yeah. You know, so I think showing that and like you being in my ear, like, did you weigh yourself? Did you do this? Do that? Like, give people a, an idea that you can do it. Yeah. Successfully and healthy and all those things too as well, instead of just like seeing the guys where they're half dead. Yeah. I mean, it's it's horrible when you see that. You know, it, it almost makes you cringe you know you're just like hey, like that's not what our sport is you know